Hello everyone, Ken the Bearded Accountant here, and today I'm here to talk to you about Black Rebels, the Chieftain. Now, before I get into it, I did have a couple of things I wanted to do. First, I've been a little concerned because I, I don't know if you've ever watched BGG reviews. They do beard product reviews, Dagan or Ron from Deliberately Bearded. But I'm concerned about Dagan because I know Ron can't be there all the time to satisfy his need to see the beautiful Brio beard trimmer. So for you, Dagan, there you go. And I wanted to mention something. Another channel you should check out is Socially Bearded, Mick. Now Mick has been suggesting that I shave my head. He does all types of videos on head shaving, razors, you know, the, the soaps, all kinds of stuff. So for you, Mick, I don't know if you can see this, but that's, that's getting pretty close to shaved. And with that, I'm going to do, get into my quick intro and then get into my discussion of Black Rebels the Chieftain. Okay, I'm back, and today's video is basically another one of my biggest compliment you can pay to a beard product videos. I mentioned that I went rafting not too long ago, and that I brought two oils with me. I mentioned the other one earlier in the week, but the second one I brought was the Chieftain, and as you can see, now I don't dump out these bottles just so I can do this. I used up this bottle, and I want to tell you a little story about how I almost didn't get hooked on Black Rebel beard products. This was the very first Black Rebel product that I tried. It is cedarwood and orange, or orange and cedarwood, one way or the other. And I had tried it, and I wasn't sure how I felt about Black Rebel beard oil. It gave me like a spongy feeling in my beard. I hadn't felt that before, and I wasn't sure if it was a good thing, not a good thing. And I wasn't sure about how I felt about this scent. So what I did, I was going on a vacation. It was about a year ago exactly. And I decided to force the issue. And I brought this oil with one other oil. I brought my Unastomish Premium just in case I didn't want to use this. And I've got to tell you, it, if I had bought purchased this in a sample, I probably would have used it once and then left it alone. But because I had the whole bottle and I had the sense to bring it with me and make it basically the only thing I could use for four or five days, I absolutely fell in love with this scent. I don't know what it is about this scent, but I love it. I put this back in my beard for the first time in a few months, a couple weeks ago. And I just had that, you know that feeling when you put an oil in, you're like, I, I wish I was that metal guy in 1983. Ooh, yeah. Like, it's just awesome and I this there are a lot of oils that I like I buy a lot of oils to do reviews I can love it and I'm not going to repurchase it because I'm just constantly buying more but this is one oil it's not offered right now I know it will be offered again and the reason I know that is Pedro Navarro of Black Rebel Beard Company is a kind and good man and there's no way he's going to make the world go without this forever so I know He's going to make it available again at some point. The Chieftain is just an incredible scent. I wouldn't say it's a scent that you're going to wear out and everybody else is going to be amazed by it, but for personal enjoyment, I just always, I, I fell in love with this scent. When it's available again, if it's available again, I will definitely purchase this again. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I will replace this if I get a chance. So with that, I'm going to say... If it's available again, this is one I think you've really got to give it a try. If you like cedarwood and orange, this is just amazing. The scent lasts forever. It's strong, but it's not overpowering. It is just probably one of my favorite scents in the world. And like I said, there are an awful lot of oils that I love and go through that I'm just not going to bother replacing because I've got so many other oils and, you know, that's the way it is. This is one, when and if it becomes available again, will be replaced. And with that, I'm going to call this one a wrap. And I will see you on the next one. <laughs> 